Hello, and welcome back to our next tutorial on Adobe Lightroom version 4. Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, changing eye color or enhancing the eye color in an image. Um, a lot of times when you're taking pictures um, you know, at the beach or somewhat of an indoor setting, uh, you lose the, the color of the eye. So what we're going to do today is we're going to step through a simple step on in doing it only in Lightroom. This way you don't have to export it to Photoshop or Corel Draw or something of that nature. So currently right now we're in the library module. Uh, we're going to have to go over to the develop module. And what we're going to do now is that we're in the de uh, develop module. We're going to zoom into the eyes. And this young lady actually has very blue eyes. But the picture was taken indoors in a cage and you actually see the gray of the eye and no longer the blue. So what we're going to do is step through how to fix that. Uh, first thing you have to do is on the right hand side you have to go over and click on the adjustment brush on your uh, the right side under your adjustments and then under effect you're going to have to you know, have all of the different options here. You want to make sure that you have the iris enhance checked and then there's a couple settings you have to go through to kinda to work with the eye itself uh, first thing down here you have the brush size um, we, we want something just barely bigger than the eye that we're the part of the eye we're working on so this is a little bit too big so we're gonna change this I want this a little bit smaller uh, I want this down um, and as you see as you move the mouse the the, the it gets smaller so you can see the size you're working on. So I'm going to work on um, a brush size of about 5.3. Um, the feather, I want to raise this up a little bit. Um, I'm going to raise this to about 70. And the flow, you don't want this too harsh. So I'm going to raise this to about 70 as well. You can use the sliders or the keyboard if you want to to make this adjustment. Um, density will leave right at 75 that'll be fine so what you have to do is now that you have the settings set up all you do want to do is you want to paint around the color of the eye you'll see you'll start to lighten it up just a little bit so you do this with, with both eyes trying to keep it inside the eye and not go outside onto the actual um, eyebrow itself so once you have painted the eye what you have to do, do now is go up to the top up here under the temperature and we're going to change the temperature. We're going to drag it to the left which is the blue side. If you drag it to the right that's the yellow side. So if we go this way you'll see her eyes now get much golder in color. Well this young lady has really really pretty blue eyes so what we're going to do is we're going to move this down and start bringing out the color of her eye again. So I want her to leave this quite low at about minus 80. Um, the tint and same thing if we go to the right um, it doesn't change the the whole effect too much it makes it a little bit too bright if you go to the left it kinda lightens it up to more of a, a greenish light blue color so we want to actually cut this off right in the area of about minus 35 it's easier here to use your keypad and I want this to about minus 80 and then when you're satisfied with the color just click the done button and now you can zoom out on the picture you can now see that she does have a slightly blue color to her eye and no longer the the gray color that you get from you know, indoor type photos so you just zoom back in and now you can see you don't want to overdo the colors but you do want to just enhance them just a little bit and this is a simple step on how to do so um, you don't have to go through and change a lot of the settings um, the ones you're most concerned with are pretty much the basic if you wanted to sharpen the eyes a little bit you could um, I typically don't but really it's the brush size the feather and the flow the density you want to change depending on how bright the picture was or how dark it was so um, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, um, please send us a message and we will uh, get back to you or drop us a comment. 
and then we will get back to you just as soon as we possibly can.